Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Stanley Chang. I work in Google. I work in the GRPC project for the last three and a half years. I used to work in PHP, and now work, I'm going to talk about uh, GRPC web. So I uh, just want to see a quick show of hands. How many people are familiar with GRPC? Very good, very good, more than half, so uh, good. So um, um, just a brief overview of what GRPC is a remote procedure calls, RPC style uh, library framework. It's highly pro high performance, open source, general purpose, standard based feature read RPC framework. So uh, um, uh, 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 now it's a CNCF project. Uh, fun fact about GRPC is that the G actually doesn't stand for Google. So uh, 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 each release, uh, G stands for something different. So in 1.0, G actually stands for GRPC. So um, GRPC uh, support a lot of languages, uh, about 10 now, and we are trying to add more. Uh, this is a very typical way of architecting your, um, your, your, your application where you can string together uh, services, calls. Uh, you can have one service talk to another and string together. And you can reach uh, your browser or your laptop or, or like any cloud realm. You can deploy, uh, certainly deploy GRPC in Kubernetes now. Um, so this is a very typical way of, 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 of how gRPC works. Uh, you have a client, you have a server, you import a library, and you uh, can talk to send each other's messages uh, in the gRPC protocol. It's mostly based on the, H, the new HTTP2 protocol that uh, can leverage a lot of the new features uh, over the uh, 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 existing HTTP1.1 protocol. So you, in general, you have a protocol de definitions. You don't have to. Uh, usually, you, do, you, do, you can generate some code into your application, import it, and you can start sending messages, so sending RPC calls. So it's very uh, simple, uh, easy way to uh, think about it. You don't have to worry too much about like, the networking aspect of things. So uh, uh, just a quick, quick thing. So in, in the client, let's focus on the client now. So you, you can write in C++, you can write in Java, you can write in Python, you can write in Node, like the 10 other languages I, I mentioned. In the same thing in the, on, the, on, the, on the server side. Now, can we do the same thing? In browsers, if we swap the client with browsers like Chrome and, and Safari and, 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 and Safari, uh, Firefox, and can we do the same thing and talk gRPC with your services? Um, the answer is unfortunately no right now. So uh, the, 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 the browser environment is rather restrictive. Uh, uh, the standard web API that it exposes to us is uh, like XHR and Fetch don't kind of expose the underlying HTTP wire protocol details. Like there's no concept of a channel. There's, we cannot control whether you, uh, we, uh, what kind of uh, protocol negotiation is there. Uh, we, can, we, we have very little control over the uh, very low level, uh, the, the, the stream uh, underlying connections. Uh, and, and, usually, and, and for browser clients, they usually prefer like text data. Uh, RPC, GRPC is mostly a binary protocol, so there are some, uh, some uh, uh, difficulty there. Uh, uh, GRPC protocol has uh, relied a lot of uh, the response trailers to carry some kind of metadata about your RPC back to the client. Uh, and that is not exposed to us uh, in the standard browser, uh, browser APIs. And uh, for browser client, we have to take care of like, some web specific features like cores and security and all that. And in a lot of the cases where uh, you deploy your web application, you may be behind some firewalls. So uh, HTTP2 may not be available in, in those kind of situations. So gRPC web is actually a auxiliary protocol uh, defining a kind of a translation layer between browser requests and gRPC. So currently, the kind of a translation is implemented in Envoy, a fellow CNCF project. Uh, we are trying to implement more. Actually, we actually start off uh, implementing as an Nginx module. So right now, it's, it's in Envoy. It's out of the box support. Uh, you can flip a switch and you can use it. Uh, it's over standard HTTP. There's a custom uh, content type to specify that this request is a gRPC web request. Uh, the trailer is, is encoded in, in the stream itself. Uh, the limitation right now is uh, you can only do unit call and server streaming call. We are trying to look into how we can uh, add uh, clients uh, by that streaming and client streaming later. So this is kind of the updated thing, updated uh, architecture, architect, uh, architecture of your web applications is that in your browser, uh, you do your gRPC web uh, client and you talk gRPC web with a kind of an Envoy proxy where to do the translation and do the, uh, and communicate with your, in gRPC with your backend. So uh, from the browser perspective, it's just like a normal client that you write in Node or C++ or Java. 
The project is GA since a couple months ago. Uh, we are trying to uh, get feedback on, on, on your use case, so please visit us on uh, GRPCIO. Uh, the specs is over there. Uh, the project has been uh, used internally for two years already. Uh, there are client library in NPM, and then we have added TypeScript support. So in the future, we are trying to add more, uh, add more support to these kind of like translation layer. Uh, we are trying to add more features to it, and we are definitely looking for uh, uh, contributions. So uh, final call, I have, I'm, I'm running out of time. Uh, I have actually have an in-depth session on GRPC Web on Wednesday at 2.35. Thank you. Great. Thank you, Stanley.